Welcome to the Bicycle Adventure Club doing a not tour of Dartmoor. <laughs> Welcome to another Bicycle Adventure Club video. I'm currently in Croyd Bay and it's the last night of our trip. So I think what you're about to see is the, the bits that I've filmed throughout the trip. But it was, it was an interesting trip. We intended to tour 140, 150 miles around Dartmoor. And on the first day we did the Tarka Trail. Yep and I broke a spoke on a steep descent, which in itself wasn't massive, although uh, to me, it worried me, obviously because of my weight and the weight. I wasn't carrying a massive amount of weight, but, but it's always a worry when you break a spoke. And in the past when I've broken spokes, other spokes have gone and it's been a cascade of failure. Um, however, Jane had a spare fibre spoke and we fixed it up and we got to the bike shop in Oakhampton and he was a very nice man and he fixed it all up um, but I think we reflected at that point um, on the hills that we yep. were starting to do yeah and they were too much for me for sure they were a little bit much for me we do I think we'd have carried on and done it but it would have, we'd have struggled around the whole route and on top of that after seeing what we've seen um, the roads are very narrow, steep hedges, and a lot of the cycle paths, in fact, you will see a little later in the video, the, uh, the Princetown tramway that we cycled up yesterday. Commute routed us on that with loaded touring bikes as, a, as the most uh, scenic and gradual way up to Princetown, and we wouldn't, we'd have struggled on that with, with, yeah. the, with panniers. Mary would have said multiple bricky. Very bricky very lumpy bumpy and i think we just struggled so so what we ended up doing is we were rescued by anna who took us back to the van in barnstable and we used the van as a base to go around and do some sample cycling of devon and dartmoor and we've had the best time it has been amazing the for best my, time for my first trip away on a bike it was just and you've brilliant. done brilliantly She's done brilliantly because the hills aren't, they're short and sharp and they're very sharp, they're proper up. And if you're unloaded and perhaps even on wider tyres would be better because some of the um, bicycle routes that Jane and I went on on our little, our little run out, uh, they were marked down as cycle routes on the map and looked like lovely wide byways but they're not used, they were fantastic but lumpy bumpy you would never have made it on a on a loaded bike at all with skinny well we did it on skinny tires yeah, i think we've I think had a so. better trip and we've experienced more cycling and been able to get to more places and i think the other factor in all of that was the weather it was forecast thunderstorms and then rain and then the next hour it would change and be something else so we kind of had to put our put our don't think about the weather hats on which is what we did, um, and planned some nice routes and just cycled them. And your Plymouth down the, we did the Plymouth Valley Trail and the Drakes Trail, which means essentially we've done the coast to coast, bar the Ilford Coombe to Barnstaple. We did Ilford yeah. Coombe to Barnstaple 20 years ago, so <laughs> so we've done the coast, I'm gonna call it. Yeah. We've done the coast to coast, hey. we've done it. But the, that was the longest ride you'd done, wasn't it? Yeah, Tavistock to Plymouth and back was the longest ride I've ever done with also the most elevation I've ever done. Yeah, and you did well. It was a good <coughs> ride. It was nice. It was ever so pretty. For Devon, for me now, it's worth coming down with your bike if you have a base and you can go out and do several different trails. But to try and sort of link them up with the road network is probably not a good idea at all. Um, I'd if, agree with that. I think it's the road network is, is is tough in Devon. It's tough to drive, let alone cycle. Yeah, it's not suitable for cyclists. There's nowhere for you to go for a car coming past for a start. You can't see them. They can't. You can't hear them. The hedges. There's no views. There's so yeah, it's tough. However, you end up with <laughs> places like that. So it's very pretty. It's very beautiful. But all in all, what a fabulous trip. Jane didn't want to be in the video, but Jane's like a professional tourer. I think Jane would have done the route. Yeah, Jane would have done it. She did say she'd have found it a struggle, and if Jane says she would have found it a struggle, then 
it would have been horrific for any, any normal human being. Mary isn't here with us. Mary is at home looking after George and Wilf, unfortunately. Um, hopefully we'll get Mary out on an adventure soon for you all. We have some stickers, new stickers that are available on our website that hopefully you can, you can go and buy from us to help support the channel. Um, whilst on this trip we hit a thousand subscribers which um, we're just over the moon with we can't we can't believe it we just thank you to everybody that has watched and laughed along with us and subscribed and helped us um, it really means a lot we're, we're over the moon we also still have some t-shirts available if anybody would like to buy a nice bicycle adventure club t-shirt and, uh, and join in the gang um, please keep posting your adventures and videos on our on our website we look forward to uh to seeing those and we look we do love to interact with you and talk to you thank you for watching i hope you enjoy this video i don't know what i've filmed it might seem a little disjointed it might be incredible but enjoy it either way what happened yesterday was we drove jane drove down from North, not Northumberland, Northumberland? Lincoln. Louth. Up that way, seven hours away. I drove down from Birmingham. Jess. From Kent. Drove down from Kent. And we met in a Tesco car park in Barnstaple, uh, where we went online and booked through an app called, was it Just Park? Uh, Something like here. that, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, your parking space. your parking space or something mm. and you go online and you can book and it cost us about 20 pounds each for the to leave our cars here for the week in the tesco car park which is brilliant and then we went out to a campsite that jane kindly booked through airbnb and we stayed there last night to organize ourselves and then we're leaving our cars here at the car park in barnstaple before setting off on our our tour of tour of Dartmouth, tour of, i don't want to call it a tour of devon because it's not really it's about 150 miles with all together yeah. not massive but there's some big lumps obviously but we're going to go try and go up and over dartmoor uh, and we're all, we're all just packed up jess uh, this is her first time doing a big tour so we're just spending a little time getting a, a touring set up all sorted and learning jess in the ways of of packing the bike learning me very well learning yes. you yep so that's good jane's obviously an old pro jane the old pro jane's got a lovely bike we'll take you through all the setups later and and we'll do tips with jane tips with jane enjoy the trip enjoy it i think we found our way out of the tesco car park but the garmin and the commute is very confusing i'm going to be honest i'm more of an uh, ordnance survey map sort of person and a compass very confusing how's jess hi hey but we're on our way we're on our way jane dayglow jane is up ahead so let's go we're a fear of a view already see the sea didn't we we had to come and see the sea it's the only bit of sea we'll see it's the only bit of sea we'll see it's the only sea we'll see yeah clapping clapping slabs in our way 10 and a bit 10 and a bit miles 11 Woo! trying to catch 
short video. And of course then, after all that, I finally got around to uh, to picking it up and getting on with it. And uh, well, of course, I never told you about the time that I. Uh... Mm. No. Suck a cycle. <laughs> Jane won't do tips with Jane. Jane every so often will stop and go, oh. And by the way, what I like to do is I like to take these hand cheeses with me on my bicycle tours because they're convenient, individually wrapped and provide the required amount of energy for my cycle tour endeavors. And then when I get the camera out and go, Jane, Jane, tell that all to the camera, she'll go, oh, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. So we can't have tips with Jane. So it'll have to be Jane's tips via Sarah. I might do some of them later. Do some later, Jane, because they're good tips. Well, these are quite handy. Oh, look, yeah. Tips with Jane. So this yeah, is, we... these are handy individual milk sachets for your lunchtime coffee. Jane's, so we've stopped for lunch and Jane is whipping up a brew with her Alp kit stove and her instant coffee. gone a bit peat peat tongue is that the word that is that is the word that is the word so i've broken a spoke on my rear wheel uh jane has gone off ahead up the right which, which which she's apparently she's waiting on a bench we are at the where are we Haverley. We're, We're in Haverley. I've broke a spoke. We're all, uh, what time is it? It's 10 to 4 in the afternoon. Oakhampton is 10 miles away, which is where we were heading for. But Jane has got this fibre fixed spoke. So I'm just going to thread this in and see if it will, see if it will get me to, to Oakhampton. <laughs> Hello, Poppy. In my experience, if one has gone, others will. Yeah. The others will weaken. That's right. why that that's supposed to help. You can try and stop that from like well, try and mean it's less likely. But. Yeah. I think it's called a fibre fix. So after a fair bit of faffing, that's essentially what we've got. Is it's I've tensioned it up as much as I can, and the wheel is even if it's just peace of mind for the five miles jess has kindly been an organizer's campsite for this evening um so we're just going to get to a campsite and, and discuss our options from there oh, Sarah. and the worst bit about it is i'm talking to you but i might as well tell these people as well the worst bit about it is is i kind of knew this was going to happen it, and i think do you think i manifested it what, by thinking it's gonna yeah here? yeah I thought. I mean, we can blame you. Don't know. Anyway. 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 Co op dinner to go to the campsite. Oh, squeaky brake. So the emergency spoke appears to be holding, but I can't, I can't let go down the hills because uh, my back wheel is, is, it hasn't quite pulled it into true. And it's got a bit of a kink in it so and i'm afraid that if i go too fast down the big hill 
that uh, I won't be able to emergency stop or if I do I'll probably just kill myself so although the ups are up I'm having to go down them twice as slow so the guys have gone ahead we're a mile away from a campsite I think there's another climb after this one oh yeah it's tough what a tough day and it's real it's real pissed me off if I'm honest um Oh, but do you know what? We got going again. We uh, Jess phoned and organised a campsite. I phoned the bike shop in, o shop in Oakhampton. They open in the morning because although I've got the spare spoke for the rear wheel, um, I don't have uh, the uh, the cassette tool or the the chain whip to take the the rear cassette off to thread it. So it's a bike shop job. So fortunately, the guy said they're open at ten o'clock. This is how slow. This is how slow I'm having to go down with one brake, with one front brake. I've moved all the luggage to the front of my bike, which is which is okay. We seem to be doing all right. But uh, yeah, I'll be feel better when we get to camp, have something to eat, have a good rest, go to bike shop tomorrow and see what happens. So catch you later.